Hey guys, it's Gamer Kid for Hunt, and welcome back to Let's Play Jumper 2. Today we're going to be fighting a boss. Well, more like running from one apparently, but I digress. Oh wow! <clears throat> Wait, is it lagging like whenever he hits the thing, or is it just my imagination? I think it's slightly lagging whenever he does that. Wow. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so I need to be paying attention here. Pay attention to me. No, that doesn't work. Wow. Okay. Think. Think this one through. Think this one through here. I think. I think. Uh, wow. Uh. Yeah, I think it's slightly like whenever he does that. No, that that might work if I could time things. I cannot time things. You also know this by now. Okay, let's do this. Come on, Ogmo. No, no, no. Ah, no, see, buddy. Leave me alone. Ah, no, ah. Okay, let's do this, Ogmo. Come on. How long is this? Exactly. Ah, come on, really? Is this really necessary? This is block man abuse, and I will not tolerate this. Oh. Oh, come on. Okay. So, let's see here. Ah! Music! Hey, ho! Hey, hey, hey! Whoop! da 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 Well, there's a gym. Don't know if I'm going to go for it or not because you know it's a gym and I do not work out, so therefore I cannot have it. See what I did there? Did I ruin by saying see what I did there? It's pretty right. It's a gym. It's not a gym unless you unless it's a building. Then it is a gym. See, it's logic. Okay, so. Hey, 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 uh, ah! Okay, we're gonna do this, Ogma. We're gonna do this, buddy. We're going to beat this level. We're going to... We're going to win. We're going to defeat the ghost guy by outrunning him. Don't exactly know how that's going to work, but we're going to do it by darn you. We're going to kill the ghost. Time to give up the ghost. That's what I say to that ghost. Alright. Up, up, ah, no! That's tricky. Okay. Come on, Agmo, we can do this. Okay, not too hard. Not too. What was I saying? Okay. So. going to be a long video, isn't it? No! No! Ah, ah, I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm stuck in the loop! There we go! But it's too late! No, it's not! Yes, it is! What was I saying? Okay. No! Oh, boy! No! Why? So I know it's a ghost and it's chasing us. That's pretty grand. It's pretty real grand. I do say so myself. And this is a cave. It's a cave and it has rocks and uh, blocks. Block shaped rocks, which are shaped like blocks, and they're rocks. That rocks, you know. And there's like floating fireballs for some reason. Nobody really knows why. It's just a common occurrence in nature to see floating fire. I mean, it's one of the most common occurrences, I mean, really. I mean, if you took any science class, that's one of the first thing you learned, is that fire can fire can appear in random spots and appear to be floating, and it's pretty grand. And it's also a proven fact that uh, people are talking in the background, and that is also pretty grand.
No. <sighs> Music, don't be a thing like that, okay? Okay. Really? This music, it makes it impossible to get angry at things. No, come on. Hup, hup. Hup, uh, hup, uh, hey. Really? Here we go, here we go, up, up, over, under, wait, over and under, I can use the over and under part. Under, over, there we go. So am I actually, is this boss battle just gonna, just gonna consist of me, consist of me running away? Or do we actually fight the ghost? I mean, he's a ghost, there's not much to fight, I guess that's why we were running away. I mean, unless you get like a vacuum cleaner, you know, made by EGAD or something, then maybe you can uh, kill the ghost that way. Not necessarily kill him, but you paint him. You see? If Luigi can do it, why can't Hogma? It? it only makes sense. Uh, um, come on. Up, oh, run. Music reset and almost kill me. Gotta be careful. No! Why? We almost covered new territory there for a second. I was worried, but now my worries are alleviated. They've gone away. No! Oh! So, wait a minute. It's actually easier to get the gym and uh, go after him. Okay, so... Where is it? I don't know. Okay... No! Ah! Come on. Okay. So we're running and, uh... There's really... up some somewhere along the course but or starts doing things like seeing projectiles like 
Really? We're gonna start this now, game? We're gonna- we're gonna- we're going to start this? Really? We're going- Well, it could've been worse. It could've been right at the end, then I would've- I literally would've literally exploded if it was right at the end, so what- So does that mean it's- Oh, good. So once upon a time, there was a guy, you see, this guy set out on a grand journey, and it was really grand indeed, you see, because he was going to find all the cookies that he could, but the only difference is that he had no computer, so therefore he could not find those cookies that he was looking for, and therefore he could not store info, and it was pretty, how you say, not grand. And if I do say so myself, he therefore set out into a desert on a horse with a name. And therefore, when he came across the vast igloo continent of Asia, it was something amazing if I do say so myself. Because in that continent, you could see people moonwalking to work and instead of driving cars, which they said it was more fuel efficient, but I don't see how that's possible. Because obviously, shoes, as we all know, burn more fuel than a car ever will. This is pretty grand. And they had people walking on the ceiling. And I was like, what the heck? Because there is no ceiling. Even though I wasn't there, I saw pictures in like a, like a photography thing, a postcard. It was like, it said, I wish you weren't here. And I was like, I wish I weren't there also. And then, you know, we make new progress. And then I'm going to flub it up somewhere. And that's pretty wonderful because, as you can all see, I'm incapable of doing even the smallest task there. It's pretty grand. Back to the story. So, anyways, after doing things which involved nothing at all, he decided to go back to town for a nice vacation, even though he was already in the town. He went back to a town that was under the ocean, and that under the ocean town was called Sea You There. Because it was a town where we would see you there. You see, it was an ocean with very, very complex society. You see, because they they rely on electricity underwater, which is very, very dangerous. Because as you all know, electricity can kill you. It's pretty rad, especially underwater, because it will electrocute you and kill you instantly underwater. Electrocute everything else that you have ever seen and never not seen. Because not seeing is what you've never seen. And if you haven't seen it, then you will not know it is there. Unless you have seen it, because seeing what you have not seen is impossible. You see what I mean? Unless you go look and see, and then you can see with your eyes, or your three eyes, or your four eyes, or how many eyes you have. For those of you who wear glasses, four eyes. There you go. I am one of those. I am not a Cyclops, I am a Quad Clops, or whatever you call me. Which is pretty grand, you see. And Ogmo, he, he's a Biclops. It's pretty wonderful. And I'm going to die again. Because, you see, in this grand land of caves and stories everywhere to be told, it's pretty wonderful, you see. Only difference is... The only difference between this cave and the story is that it doesn't involve robots that lost their memory. See, this this story is about a cave, and a, it's about a, a block guy who was an experiment who 
did things, which I don't know of because I didn't play the first game yet. Which is always wonderful, you know. So anyways, going back to the story of that guy, he's a dude, you know, he's a, he's a raddest dude that's ever rad. He's pretty grand. You see, after visiting that city of water, he had an idea. Why not bottle it and sell it? You can make millions off of it. It's pretty wonderful, you see. And However, despite corporation didn't like it, so you see, they had to ban bottled water in their country. You see, this country is the country that Ogmo is visiting right now. It's pretty grand, you see, because it's all dark and scary and mysterious. So therefore, they hid all the water in this reservoir right here, somewhere around here, and uh, Mr. Ghostbot over there doesn't want us to get into it. So that's why we have to find it, you see. Because if we get to it, then that'll automatically make him disappear. You see, it all makes sense when you don't think through it with logic, because... Honestly, thinking through things reasonably is not something that I am good at when playing games. No, I am too impatient for that. So you see, now we must go and go and go and do things and die repeatedly over and over again because, you know, it's just so much more entertaining that way, you see. Because it's so entertaining for me, dying over and over and over again, I get a good laugh! <laughs> See, I'm going to laugh now, <laughs> See? See, that's my laugh. And you see, when you're doing things, which, you know, some, some would call it crazy. I call it, uh, I call it a thing. And then, you see, you actually make it over here. And it's going to be pretty great when you're entertaining things that actually happen. Like, I hit that spike completely not paying attention. And it is something that I am rather proud of, if I can say so myself. And I have earned a gold trophy in several times before. And it was just an amazing experience overall. And I'm quite glad that I was able to share this experience with you, dear viewer. Or viewers. If you're watching it with more than one person. Until it gets to like this point where you're watching the same thing for hours on end. Unless you're... Unless you're weird. In some kind of fashion way. Unless you've been bonked on the head with too many flying pans. Flying pans, yes. Different than frying pans, you see. Unless you've been bonked on the head by. Oh, there we go again! <laughs> oh, I miss you, unexpected error. How are you doing today? Don't think about it, just do it. Just don't mess up me! Don't! I dare! I dared! <laughs> ah. oh. Well, mine gone. Mine. My mind's gone, Ryan. My mind. Well, my mind left. My mind. Okay, okay, mind back. Stop with the immense amount of lag there. It's all that lag really necessary right there. Like I said, I think I know what's causing the unexpected errors. It's all him destroying that block of this there. Causing the game to go into berserk lag. Okay, okay, back here, back here! Yes! Is that the end? Yes! I win! Ah! I'm happy. Evil Corp, huh? I'm not doing voice acting, I... Yeah, yeah it is a ghost bot. Oh, I'm just glad that's finally over. That was, uh, uh. Okay. Oh, good.
Like I said, I'm going to beat this entire game by darn me. Well, I guess, uh, next time we'll take on the Fat Dream. That's my death count right now. I started out at, uh, I think going into this boss I had like 1600, 1500, and like... Roughly 300, 200 in, or something like that in this video, so that's wonderful. Next time, uh, here's a glimpse of the next level. And I don't even see a way out of this, so that's going to be fun.